In this video, we will see how to set up TCP communication and test SNMP protocol on the Flight Systems Gen Pulse. First, open the M2M setup application. Connect through serial, and then go to the Ethernet config tab and get the IP address. This one is on 10.1.10.74. Make note of the application TCP port. Next, you can disconnect and then go to IP connection. You can name it whatever you'd like. Enter the IP address of the modem. Next, enter the application TCP port. The default is 10002. Now, you can connect remotely through IP. Next, let's configure a static IP address. Click Static, and then type an IP address into the box. Save your settings, and then hit Yes to Write to Memory. Saving is complete. Let's try reconnecting to the modem. Uh-oh, it looks like it's not connecting. This is because the previous TCP connection hasn't timed out yet. Give it a few seconds and try again. This time, we get our settings. Notice the static IP address has taken and it is listed in the IP address of the device info box. Next, we will look at setting up and testing SNMP. Open the Flight Systems M2M setup application. We are going to add a new device. Yours may be already in the list. We're going to call this one FSI2. And its IP address is 10.1.10.81. The default port is 10002. When we connect, we're able to read the settings from this modem. Configure a static IP address if required for your situation. Here we're going to put in 10.1.10.81, which is the address of this device. Make sure you verify that your UDP port is set for 161. Next, put in a trap IP address and port of the computer that's going to be receiving notifications from the device. This is an optional step and is not required for SNMP to work. Save your settings, and then write them to memory. You can now disconnect from the unit. Next, we can load up Passler SNMP Tester and test SNMP communication. Put in your IP address and enter an OID to test or enter a scan script. If we hit start, we can see SNMP packets coming back from the device. Next, we can use the iReasoning MIB browser to test our traps. Load your MIB file. Navigate to the folder that contains the downloaded M2M package. The MIB file is packaged in with this. We can see that the correct MIB file has been selected. Let's turn on the trap receiver. Looks like there's an error. This is a common error to run into. Go to your task manager and look in the list for the Windows SNMP trap process. This is a built-in Windows process. You can end the task on SNMP trap. Let's try trap receiver again. This time we get no error. 
and we can hit the Start button. Now that the listener is running, let's go into the M327 application. Connect to the device. Go to the GenPulse dashboard and click Relay 1 to remote start the generator. If you do not have Relay 1 connected to do remote start, you can just start the generator if it's nearby. It looks like we've received a trap notification in the taskbar. Let's go see what it was. Here are the traps that were pushed from the device due to starting the generator. It looks like traps have successfully made it to this machine and SNMP is properly configured.